Hey folks, Ira here. I hope you've had a great Saturday. Thanks for tuning in for the Earthquake Report. Today is April the 23rd, 2016. Today is also known as the following. Lover's Day. All right. Not only this, but it is also known as National Zucchini Bread, Take a Chance, and World Laboratory Day. Hmm. All right. Earthquake Report time. Here we go. As of 4.21 p.m. Eastern Time, we have clocked in only 123 earthquakes for the day. Yesterday, we ended the week off with 1,727 earthquakes being experienced. This, in conjunction with today's figures, has brought our monthly total to 6,668. So, I know exactly what you are thinking. This has indeed been a quiet day especially considering the events that we have experienced over the past week, where virtually every day we have lived through numerous magnitude 5s, 4s, and even multiple earthquakes within the magnitude 6 scale. If we look at yesterday alone, we'll see that the unfortunate folks in Ecuador were hit by yet another magnitude 6, this along with 6 aftershocks, one of which was a 5.8. In total, we had one magnitude 6.0, seven earthquakes that fell within the magnitude 5 scale, and 14 magnitude 4s. All of these earthquakes exceeded our typical daily averages by quite a bit. Today's numbers couldn't be any more different. We have experienced only one earthquake that tap into the magnitude 5 scale. That would be a 5.8 that hit Ecuador. We have clocked in only six magnitude 4 earthquakes, China with a 4.8 and a 4.6, Ecuador with a 4.8, Papua New Guinea with a 4.7, Chile with a 4.5, and Nicaragua with a 4.1. With that being said, you can see that all of the more intense seismic activities fell within the Ring of Fire. The remaining earthquakes were primarily centered around the United States. Hawaii has experienced 5 today, Pahala clocked in 1, a 2.0, the volcano has registered 2, the most intense there being a 1.9, and Ocean View has had 2 the most intense being a 2.4. Alaska has clocked in 33, the most intense there being a 3.1 that hit Chicknick Lake. Washington has experienced six thus far, three originated from Amboy, two from Packwood, and a lone quake hit Morton. The strongest experienced was a 0.8. Oregon has registered two, Lakeview with a 1.7, and a 0.6 in Lapine. California has been quiet today, and at the time of writing this, has not experienced any unusual seismic activity. The most intense to strike was a 2.7 in Ojai. The only swarm to be experienced comes to us from the geysers via the Koliami Fault Zone. Thus far, 16 have struck this area. Montana has only experienced 4 thus far, 2 of which hit Virginia City. The strongest there was a 2.0. The remaining earthquake struck Pablo with a 1.9 and Sealy Lake with a 0.6. Idaho and Wyoming have not experienced a single earthquake today. Finally, Oklahoma has only experienced two, both of which were very minor, a 2.9 in Seminole and a 2.7 in Moorland. So there you have it folks, an unusually quiet day after a prolonged period of intense seismic movement. Hopefully this period of inactivity isn't a precursor to something more intense and devastating. Speaking of which, there are numerous articles popping up on the internet that are claiming with incredible certainty that we are going to see massive earthquakes this weekend. Not only that, but there are numerous videos even here on YouTube claiming the same. It's definitely possible. However, it is also more likely that we are not going to witness such events. Even with the effects of recent CMEs and solar weather hitting the globe, it is safe to say that with the exception of forecasts from individuals like Dutch Sense, most cannot forecast with even moderate success. When I personally see reports claiming doom and gloom, my first reaction is, oh really? And then I review the report and look for concrete data. In most cases, there isn't enough present to make me stress. So with that being said, I say we prepare for the worst, hope for the best, and do not let fear slow us down. And that is it for the Earthquake Report. Make certain you comment below and provide us your thoughts on today's events and what may or may not be in store for us going forward. Make certain to like and subscribe, share if you feel inclined. Also, if you like the social media thing, you can link to us via the standard allotted social sites in the description. 
will end this report with a video feed from our favorite star. Have a great night, guys. Hoorah!